Hi there. Thanks for joining me on Old to New, where we turn what's old into something new. Today, I have a faux fur vest, and I'm going to show you how to renew it. So for today's show, you need some sort of brush. If you have a clothing brush, that would be best. However, in my case, I did not have that and I did not want to spend 10 plus dollars to purchase one. So I actually found a few brushes that I had on hand. This is a brush, like a fingernail brush um, that I washed thoroughly and I'm going to use. And then I also had an old bottle brush from my kitchen. Uh, I'm guessing you could find this at the dollar store. And I'm also going to try using that as well. So here we have a faux fur vest. Someone gave this to me. And as you can see, it's fairly matted. It doesn't look so great. However, instead of throwing it out, I want to try to make it look new again. So give me a minute here and let's see what we can do. So I actually tested an area here um, just to see which brush would be ideal in this scenario. So I began with um, uh, the bottle brush because the bristles are quite a bit softer, whereas the fingernail brush, the bristles are much uh, harder. So I wanted to start with the most gentle brush and I, when I looked at the fabric, I was hoping I could determine which way um, the, the fur was, the faux fur was going, but I can't really tell. So it seems to be going different ways in different areas overall, though I would say maybe it's going down. So I'm actually going to start by brushing against the fur, so in the other direction. So I'm gonna begin by brushing up. And you'll see that this brush doesn't, it takes a really long time. I have to brush, uh, you know, I have to use many strokes in order to get the faux fur to begin to start changing um, and uh, becoming different in texture. So you can see here I'm brushing up. And I did this for a while on this little spot over here. Um, but not a lot happened. So then I actually started brushing. You can see it looks almost the same, maybe slightly better. So then I started brushing down just to see if that would help at all. So I brushed down and then I actually brushed like in all directions basically. And it definitely looked better, but it, it just didn't look, you know, there wasn't a huge difference. So I decided to go ahead and Give it a try with the stiffer bristles and I found this to be much more effective at least with this particular faux fur. So if I start brushing up because it appears that is um, the direction against the faux fur and you'll see here already it's looking quite different. So I'm just brushing up with I'm applying I'm applying some pressure as well. So if this was a really expensive faux fur, I probably would not be using this method, but this was given to me, it's a hand-me-down for my toddler. So it's probably gonna get trashed anyway, um, eventually, but I'd like it to look a little nicer. All right, so that is all brushing upwards. So you can see that's starting to look a lot better. I'm losing some of my faux fur here, but that's okay. Um, and now I'm gonna try brushing down. Okay, and now I'm gonna brush to the side. Now to the other side. So this does take a little bit of time. It's not like a quick, you know, rub down with the brush. Got to put a little bit of effort into it, but I'm guessing, well, we'll see how long this takes me. Um, I won't make you watch the whole thing um, and I'll time it. 
Okay, so let's see how this is looking. So, okay, so that's starting to look better without too much work. Um, if I get a close up here, you can see the difference. You can really see the difference between the matted faux fur and the restored faux fur, faux fur, which is definitely looking nicer and definitely a lot softer. Like, I think my daughter is really gonna like, like that soft feel. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of the vest and I'll be back to show you the final product in just a few. I'm back and I've finished brushing the entire vest and Overall, I'm really happy with the results. So it took me about 25 minutes to do the entire vest from start to finish. So a little bit of a commitment, but um, you know, nothing I couldn't fit in during nap time. And I did make a few adjustments as I went through this project. So I wanna make sure to tell you about those. So um, before I told you that I started by going against um, up since it looked like the fur was falling naturally down. So I started by going up, brushing up, and then I went down into the sides. And after a while, it was just like taking um, longer than I wanted it to. So instead I just went up and down and that seemed to be sufficient. So after I'd gone up quite a few times, I brushed it back into place going down. And then you can see here how much of the faux fur came off. It's a good amount. So like I said, uh, I wouldn't do this with a really expensive piece, but since this is something that was given to me free, I figured why not? I didn't want to throw it away and I wanted to look it to look a little nicer. And so now I'm really happy um, I feel like this is gonna look really cute on my toddler with maybe some riding boots and a little pair of jeans. Um, and I think it will keep her warm too. And it's so much softer now. I think she will really love the feel to it as well. So let me take you up close so you can see the detail. So before it was just so matted and now it is much nicer. So there you have it. If you have any tips or tricks that you'd like to share with us or ways you think we could improve this project, please leave a message in the comments below. And if you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks again. This is Old to New, where we turn what's old into something new.